रमजान हमारा ईमान रमजान हमारा ईमान Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zahira Bam Ismail and you're watching Hilal TV. I trust this Ramadan is going well for you. It's always difficult as we start while we're finding our feet during this blessed month. But this is what it is about, finding our feet. And with many things in our lives, we all have difficulties. I don't think there is a single person around us that is not faced with some difficulty, that is not experiencing some challenge or going through something that they aren't able to reach out for help for. Uh, despite what we see on social media, despite the number of filters people use, I often say women especially, but the truth of it is it's both women and men who walk around with very many masks, especially parents. I think we carry so much that we don't even realize the masks that we put on to make sure that we look okay for our children, that we look okay for our family members, that we look okay for our community, that people don't need to worry about us. How often have you asked someone, how are you, without waiting to even hear how they truly are. We just hear an okay and we continue the conversations. I think it's time for us to listen a little bit more carefully, to understand that everyone is going through a challenge to understand that there isn't a person walking next to us or sitting next to us that is not without some sort of difficulty. And this again is where kindness comes in. This again is where we come in as an ummah that if we can't physically do anything to help them, at least remember them in your du'as. And the one thing that we have to remember is we have to keep people safe on our lips. We have this tendency of breaking people down. We go, oh, we're not talking, we're just saying. The truth of it is, there is no such thing as we're just saying. If we can't be kind to people, we don't live in a utopia. We're not going to get along with every single person that crosses our path. But if there's one thing we can try and do this Ramadan is to inculcate this behavior of keeping others around us safe. And by that, it means not necessarily physically safe, because inshallah, we won't be hurting anyone, but also making sure that they're safe from who we are. Practice husnadan, where we think best of others that if we see something wrong, make 70 excuses for that person. Look for ways or reasons to understand why you shouldn't be having that conversation or even participating or being part of it. Have enough courage to walk away from those tables where other people are being discussed. Because not only will you be saved from it, but you'll also start putting boundaries into place where people realize it will never be okay for them to call you or to speak about somebody else in front of you. This manner can only change if we start the change with us. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. Don't worry what everyone else is saying. Decide that this is something you want to change for yourself. And the moment we start implementing those changes, we'll start seeing those changes within our children as well and within our home environment. So if we start making strict rules within our home that people are not discussed in a negative point of view, you'll see the ripple effects of that around us as well. Inshallah, this is something we can start implementing during this blessed month. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.